In this video, we'll be looking at two step experiments to do with tree diagrams. In question five, a bag contains two blue balls, one yellow ball, and one green ball. Two balls are drawn out of the bag at random. For part A, copy and complete the tree diagram to list the sample space. So I've got part of the tree diagram here. Uh, to firstly draw this, I start with the beginning here and spread out these branches that we call um, out of the tree diagram. Okay, make sure they're all spread out and not draw like this. Okay, rather than drawing like that, draw it like this first. Okay, spread it all out so that you have space for the next part of it. All right, so in the first ball, okay, the first ball that we can choose can either be uh, blues, yellows, or greens. Okay, so we're going to write blue, then blue here, then yellow, then green. Okay, so we're just going to have one letter for each type of uh, color for the ball. Then once we choose the blue ball, okay, let's just choose the blue ball. We got one of these blue balls left. Now we have one blue ball to choose from, one yellow ball to choose from, and one green ball. So we'll have B, Y, and G as our second ball that's possible to choose from. Okay, now the same thing would happen if we would choose the other blue ball. So we're going to have a blue ball again, or yellow ball, or green ball. But if you choose the yellow ball, then you have other two blue balls and one green ball to choose from. So we'll have B, B, and G. And for the last one, if we chose one green ball, that's gone. So that means we have two blue balls and one yellow ball to choose from. So that's B, B, and Y. Great. Now, finally, what, what happens after this is you have to write down all the outcomes. So using the first letter followed by the second letter, we write all these down. This will be BB, BY, BG. Okay, that means uh, that first ball is just B, and then the second balls are B, Y, and G. Okay, so all you got to do is um, do the same thing as the rest. Okay. All right, I'm done. So, um, a very, very important thing that you should also know how to do is how many of these are there actually? Okay, don't count them one by one. The way you do this is by looking how many choices you had for the first ball, which is four, okay, that are branches out to, and then from one of these outcomes to the second ball outcome, it branches out to three of them. So if we have four times by three, okay, because each of them have three here, okay, if you know what I mean. So each each first ball has um, three balls at its second outcomes. So if you do four times three here, we would get 12. So there's 12 numbers in the sample space. Now, for part B, Find the probability of drawing a blue and green ball in that order. So, if we want a blue and green ball in that order, that means you have to get uh, B then G. So, if you see this one, okay, that's B then G. This one's B then G. So, there's a total of two out of the 12 we've calculated, which is one out of six. Now, part two, a yellow ball and a green ball in any order. So that means we can have YG or GY. So let's have a look at how many there are. So there's uh, YG and there's GY. So there's two out of 12, just one out of six. Part three, a blue ball and a yellow ball, okay. It doesn't say any order, so we can uh, do either one, I guess. So a blue ball and a yellow ball means um, BY or YB. So there's BY, and there's BY again, and then YB and YB again. So there's four choices out of 12. So simplify that answer will give us one third. Then for part four, if we want to have at least one blue ball, that means we just have to have out of the two letters, we must have at least one of them being a B. So this is okay, this is okay, this 
is okay, this is okay, this is okay, this is okay, okay? So all of these have at least one blue ball in there, that one has two. Okay, if we keep going, YG doesn't, but GB does, GB does. So that's a total of 10 out of 12, which has uh, at least one blue ball. And that will give you five out of six when simplified. And let's have a look at question six. Uh, the numbers three, four, five, and eight are written on separate cards and placed in a bag. Two cards are drawn out at random, one after another, to form a two-digit number. So use a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes if the cards are drawn without replace, oh, with replacement, sorry. So with replacement means you take out a card, but you put it back in the lot of cards and you choose another card again. So uh, what I firstly recommend you starting with is for part A, make sure that you draw your branches out and you spread them out. So don't draw them too close to each other. Okay, do like this. Spread them out. Okay, and then the first number. So this is the first digit. Okay. Let me just put this down a little bit. There we go. So our first digit can be either three, four, five, or eight. Right. But and then our second digit. Okay, our second digit can be either one of these numbers again. So if I pick a three out of these numbers here, that three can be chosen again because the card is then uh, placed down onto the table again, along with the other cards, and we can pick it again. So that means the second card can be a three, or a four, or a five, or an eight again. So I'm just gonna draw this. Yes. Three, four, five, eight. Okay. We're going to have three, four, five, eight. Okay. For the second one. And then if I choose a five first, the second cards can be also three, four, five, and eight again. And then the same thing for the last one. Three, four, five, and eight. All right. So my possible outcomes now, okay, I'll just write a second digit here. Uh, my outcomes is going to be, and let me just squeeze this in. Okay, here we go. So now that we've got our first digit and second digit, let's write down these numbers here. So our first outcome is 33, then 34, then 35, 38, followed by 43, 44, 45, 48, then 53, 54, 55, 58, then 83, 84, 85, 88. Okay. Then for part B, find the probability that the two digit number formed ends in four. So the numbers here that end in four, okay, what do they include? Well, they include 34, then 44, 54, and then 84. So that's a total of four numbers. But remember how many of these is out of. So the first lot of branches stem out to four different numbers. So we've got four different choices for the first one, okay? But the second digit can be also a choice of four numbers as well. So if you have four numbers here times four numbers there, then the total number of outcomes here will be 16. So this is one quarter. Now for part two, uh, what is the probability that the two digit number formed is an odd number? So the last number here, the second number must be an odd number. So that includes 33, 35, 43, 45, 53, 55, 83, 85. So there's a total of, I guess, eight numbers out of 16, which is number half. Then for part three, uh, the number has to be less than 45. 
So this is easy because this is a range from smallest to highest anyway. So if, if it's less than 45, it cannot be 45. It has to be the first number less than 45, which is the maximum number. And that's 44, so you have to make the cutoff here. And that would be six numbers out of 16, which is three out of eight. Then for part four, it begins with three and is even. So if it begins with three, that means the first digit has to be three. Don't worry about all this stuff here. Then the second number has to be an even number for the whole number to be even. So out of these selection of numbers, the only numbers that we accept is 34 and 38. So that will be 2 out of 16. Which is 1 out of 8.